guys, welcome to the first word presented by Dr. Pepper and Mama Garcia, joined by Nick Inman and Rob Phillips. Unbelievable, the Cowboys have pretty much lost, finished their fight tonight. The season ended for them after a 34-31 loss against the Green Bay Packers. Nick, how can we even start off? The Cowboys started off horrible during the first half, but then they came back to tie the game and end up with the loss. You know, it, it's an unbelievable game. Obviously, if you're just a football fan and watching it, Cowboy fans are devastated, and they should be. Um, you know, you, like you said, they just couldn't. Uh, they had a tough, a tough uh, hole early to come back from. They did come back. Give them credit for doing that. The defense did a nice job. But Aaron Rodgers, you just gave him too much time, and he made that one great play. And, you know, that's season's over, just like that. So what can we even say? What could the Cowboys have done differently to walk away with the win and keep going? Not let Aaron Rodgers have the ball at the end. I mean, it's one of those games where I think both teams basically were averaging 30 points. The Packers were during their seven game winning streak. The Cowboys at home in their seven games they've won here. It's one of those games where the, the team with the ball last probably is going to win the game. And, and like Nick said, the Cowboys got off to a slow start. Aaron Rodgers with drives of 75, 80, 90 yards. It took the defense a while to get going. And, but, the, but, you know, the offensively, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, they made plays. Dez was un, uncoverable for most of the game. I just think you have to give credit ultimately to what Aaron Rodgers was able to do on the final drive of the game. So how, how can we describe this season for the Cowboys? I mean, crazy season, two rookies that have done an amazing job, but I mean, credits to them, even though they couldn't yeah. keep going. Amazing and disappointing. I mean, you know, at some point, yeah, you, the rookies, you didn't expect it, but when you get to 13 and three and you're the number one seed and you're at home and you're favored to go to the Super Bowl, you know, it's disappointing to come out and not play that. And I thought that the things that we were worried about all year long, about could the defense hold up, could, could, the, could Dak get them in a shootout? I thought in the first half we were seeing that. Dak did struggle. Give him credit for coming back and give the defense credit, but it was just too little, too late. And, you know, if Jeff Heath knocks the ball away from Rodgers, how does he hang on to the football? That's the strongest hand I've ever seen to hang on to that football. Game's over. If he can do that, Jeff Heath did a nice job. Had another play where they, it looks like that they should have had. So just, just a, a, hard to describe right now. But, you know, the Packers, they outplayed them just enough to win. And another thing, the penalties, I mean, that caused a big issue there. But now it doesn't really matter anymore, but maybe a lot of people will start debating should have Tony Romo played here tonight. No, I mean, I, th I think what Dak showed was what he's shown all year long. He, whenever there's adversity, he's been able to respond, put this team in position to try to go win the game and, and, and ended up playing incredible. Um, no, I don't think that's a discussion point. I think they, they went with Dak as the present and as the future and they stuck with it and I thought he, I thought he handled, counted himself well in this game along with Zeke and the other rookies. Um, you know, a tremendous job by, by a pretty young football team this year. Well, and that wraps up this whole season. The playoffs ended for the Cowboys. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Rob, Ken Garrison, and Member Garcia. See you guys hopefully next year with a better season on the first word presented by Dr. Pepper.